This clip shows how to do a five number summary for a data set. This is a baseball team that uh, had the following runs in eight different games. Four, three, two, three, five, seven, two, one. We want to do the five number summary and that five number summary starts with a minimum. It goes down to a maximum. It has a median that has the first quartile and the third quartile. Okay, so we begin with the minimum. We look at the scores and we find the lowest score and we find that that's one. Okay, then the maximum is their highest run total, which is a seven. Um, to do the median, we've got to actually line these up from smallest to largest. So I'm going to do that one. There are two twos. I'll check them off when I do them. Two twos. There are two threes. There's a four. There's a five. And there's a seven. I'm going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're arranged from lowest to highest. And now I want to find the median. A great way to teach children how to do this is you just take off the outside ones one at a time uh, from each end until you get down to the center. So you have these, uh, you eliminate these two. And now you come down to the last two. And in this case, it's an even data set. So there's two center terms, but they're both three. So there's uh, the median is three. If there were different numbers in the center, if it came down to two numbers and there were different, you would take the average of the two. If it came down to just one number in the center, uh, then uh, that would be the median. Now, to do the first quartile, you're going to take the data set and divide it right down the middle. Okay, uh, So we have a lower half and an upper half. What we're going to do is do the median for the lower half and do the median for the upper half. The median for the lower half is going to be Q1. So again, we take the lowest, uh, eliminate that. We have two center numbers. They're both 2. So we see that the Q2 is 2. We do the same thing for the Q3. These, This is the top and bottom number. Then the two middle numbers is 4 and 5. They're two, are two, 4 and 5. So the Q3 is actually halfway between 4 and 5, or 4.5. So the five number summary is here. Interesting note is that we can now do a box plot uh, by simply doing a graph uh, and um, having a, an axis that includes enough data points to contain the min and the max. So the min was 1 and the max was 7, so uh, we want to have a, an axis that goes 1 through 7. And then we put a vertical line by each of the numbers of the five uh, number summary. So we have a vertical line at 1. We have another vertical line at 2. We have another one at 3. We have the third one at 4.5. And then we have 1 at 7. Um, we connect the three center lines into a box and then we connect the minimum and the maximum with whiskers. So this is a box and whisker plot. One whisker goes to the minimum, one whisker goes to the maximum, and one last thing I normally label these so that everybody knows the one is the minimum, two is the Q1, three is the median, 4.5 is Q3 and 7 is the maximum. So that would be a box and whisker plot for the five number summary. One of the things that we see here uh, that's interesting is since each segment represents a quarter of the data, when we have a nar relatively narrow piece, that means that there's a cluster of data in here and there's a cluster of data in here. When we find something that's spread out, it means that there's not that many data points in here. It's kind of a, a wider range where we have a quarter of the data and a wider range where we have a quarter of the data here. So this tells me, the structure of this tells me that 
there's a cluster of um, run totals in the 1 to 2 range, there's a cluster in the 2 to 3 range, then the rest are sort of spread out. And so what we see is we see a 1, a couple of 2's, a couple of 3's, just what we said, then it starts to spread out when we go beyond 3, um, so um, relatively speaking. So you can actually take a look at a box and whisker plot and start telling a little bit about the data set.